How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Professor's Garage. Today I have a Nerf video today. Hopefully this will be one of a few. I don't plan on doing a lot of Nerf videos, but I do have a few that I would like to talk about. This is the Nerf Rough Cut 2x4. It is a pretty old Nerf blaster. Um... Ten years old, maybe even twelve. But um, this is the first Nerf blaster I bought. I think it's the first one I ever owned, really. So first, one to talk about real briefly, as briefly as I can, because I tend to be tangential. But why I picked this one. Um, so when I first when I bought this, I was playing uh, Nerf for a little bit with uh, some people and it's really the only time I've ever nerfed <laughs> um, but the we were doing humans versus zombies or as it's sometimes called HBZ um, and how we were doing it is we had it was more of a survival bunker situation uh, start off with two zombies and all of the equipment was spread out, so there was a bunch of Nerf guns, a bunch of loose ammo just in different rooms. And the humans would go off and grab whatever and start going. Um, I think there was a couple flashlights even. Um, and then the zombies would go. And so as the zombies touched the humans, they became zombies and so it got more and more zombies. But this, I did as much research as I could before I bought with a bought this with all the Nerf guns that were on the market at the time, but this was what I was looking for in general, um, but it made it real easy to load because you didn't have to deal with magazines, which was hard for that format and how we played, um, but this style worked real easy, strong arms, um, and the other one that's like the strong arm, I forget what it is, I'm not an expert on Nerf, but um, this made it real easy because you could grab the blaster, grab some ammo, front load it, and then as you're running out and getting, you know, picking up ammo, you can just front load it real quick and easy. You have eight shots to deal with, and so this made it really nice for that format. But, like I said, it's an eight-shot blaster. It is part of Nerf's Multi-Shot Madness from specifically their, well, the Multi-Shot Madness gimmick, I could say from the Elite line, and it just also happened to be a shotgun for the zombie motif. Another reason this worked really well is it has a smart AR system, smart air restrictor, so no matter which barrel you have loaded, it will shoot one from the right side and one from the left side. And yes, these are the ones that are pumped. So, pull back on the pump, and then once it's primed and back in the forward, you can't pull it back. And then it has, if you pull the trigger halfway, the right barrel shoots, and then the rest of the way, the left barrel shoots. Or you just pull it back, they both fire simultaneously. It does have a um, prime indicator on both sides. So you can tell if you've shot one or two or if it's not even primed. But we have the bottom one on my right and two on the left. And let's see if I can do... Let's put this in the middle. Let's do this one at the top. Really good example on it will pick which one is good to go. So I have always had a hard time trying to get just one shot off. It's, so this worked perfectly for what exactly what I was doing, and I just it's really fun anyways. Um, I don't like batteries. I like the Springer because I don't want to pay extra. <laughs> um, and it does have a sight. You have the front post sight, and then it has a rear notch. And it's Nerf Elite, so it's not accurate at all. You barely use it. But, yeah. It's 
real comfortable. It really works how it's designed, shape and design. It really plays to the hip fire style of shooting, but it also comes up and it's still pretty, pretty comfortable, even though when I'm holding it up high, it's a little bit different. It wouldn't be more comfortable like this, but this still works because you're not going to be doing this too much. A little bit, shoot, and then, you know, run around a little bit and shoot. Personally, that's how I play with this one. The biggest downside of this is that here on the grip, let's get in real close. This silver part is raised and the edge is a 90 degree angle and so my thumb is right on it and so what I actually did is I took a knife and I shaved it down I basically whittled it down so that it was smooth from the dark gray to the silver and But before I did that, it was getting, it would get sore right on my knuckle because that's right where it rested. It was right on that part. After I shaved that down, it is so comfortable, I don't even think about it. One thing I have noticed is with um, older darts, it can shoot two or shoot, partially shoot one. And so, as with most Nerf guns, the newer the darts, the better it is, the better it functions. But that's just one thing that with, because I only have the darts basically that came with this um, and a couple others. But they're all old, they're <laughs> used. Um, I haven't gone nerfing too much, so they're in pretty good condition for how old they, the darts are, but they are still old, they still don't work perfectly. What I really want to do with this is I want to do a custom mod, I want to do a, a a spray paint job on it i want to chrome it out and make it look like a gun from uh men in black just shiny chrome guns because i think it oh wow that was one barrel was it no because i think it looks very much in the profile and shape of guns from Men in Black, so I want to chrome it out, uh, probably have this grip be black, I think I'll keep, I keep the orange just because, but I want to chrome it out and then probably put, you know, the black and the black, but please leave a comment down below if you would like to see a video of me doing the, um, doing the color modification on this so that the, the the paint job and if we get enough interest I will go ahead and record a video on it once I get around to it but I've been thinking about doing that for eight to ten years <laughs> so eventually I'll get the paint and I'll get it done but that's all I've got to say about that again this works perfectly for what I was doing um, the biggest thing was I had to shave down that one little piece. You can use a Dremel sandpaper I, a file. I just used a, a knife because that's what I had and it worked perfectly. This worked perfect for the uh, game style that I was playing and it's real fun to just shoot around at everything. It is a little... It can be difficult to fire off just one, so you get four double shots. Oh, see, old dart. I primed it and it started sticking out. You get four double shots, and if you can do it right, I guess it shoots left and then right. <laughs> but, um, Four double shots, or if you can do have the second to pause and think and control it, you can do eight single shots. That's just under pressure. It's a lot easier to just I guess and if you prime too soon after you pull the trigger it doesn't want to, do it. I 
forgot to mention, it does have slam fire. That's where you pull the trigger. Always point your guns in a safe direction. Always treat your guns as if they're loaded. I forgot to mention, it does have slam fire. So that's when you pull. that's when you pull the trigger. You prime it, and then once it gets back to the forward position, it will fire. And it, the slam fire, it does fire both at the same time. Um, and as you see, with old darts, it can be kind of farty uh, with just how it works. This original rough cut is no longer uh, in stores, as far as I'm aware. I think they have a newer paint job. Um, and the, I think they have the um, Nerf and Strike Elite 2.0 I think, um, version. And if I remember correctly from Coop 772's video, which is, if you want a comprehensive, in-depth, high-quality video on review on this, go watch out. I'll put a link in the description. But Coop 772, he has videos on basically every Nerf gun that exists. Uh, and they're amazing, high quality videos, watch them. Um, but the Nerf Elite 2.0, I think they have one. I think that's still in stores. Uh, you can get one that's mainly white with the blue, so like color inverted. Uh, I think you can still find those. Um, but mainly if you're looking for a rough cut, it's gonna be used one because it is 2022 and these were made Quite a while ago, I don't know the exact year, but I enjoy it. It's fun. That's been the professor's review on the Nerf Elite Rough Cut 2x4, 2x4. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Have fun. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and just do whatever you want, as long as it's legal.